Now that the basketball is animated, let's take a look at rendering options to make this animation more realistic. If a real basketball had been filmed with a camera, its movement would have generated a motion blur based on the shutter speed. After selecting the basketball in the timeline, you'll see the motion blur settings parameter appear in the properties panel and in the timeline. Set this to custom settings. If you set motion blur quality to zero, it won't be calculated. Setting it to a value other than zero, between zero and one, will calculate a motion blur. Autograph's motion blur is calculated by diffusing layer pixels over time along a trajectory. Increasing the quality parameter will accumulate more pixels over time. The higher the quality, the more pixels will be accumulated. We switch to custom settings to have motion blur parameters assigned to a single layer. You can modify the quality for this layer as well as the shutter angle, which will make the motion blur more or less pronounced. For more overall control, you can set it to composition settings. This mode lets you assign the same motion blur parameters to multiple layers at once. Selecting the composition provides access to the motion blur parameters, motion blur quality, and shutter angle. These centralized values allow you to adjust the motion blur settings for several layers at the same time that have their motion blur settings set to composition settings. Adding a motion blur makes the basketball animation much more realistic. If you compare the animation with and without the motion blur, you can see the difference it makes in making the animation more realistic. The quality parameter is typically set to 0.25, but you can push it even further. It just might require a slightly longer render. In this video, we went over how to enable motion blur for a layer, switch between custom and composition settings, and adjust the motion blur settings.